we good now and welcome back. Now, the last video I put up was a bit late going up. It was the 22nd of December or February. 22nd of February, I think I put it up. And uh, if you notice at the beginning of the video, I was said it was the 9th of February. So basically what happened was I filmed that video that day and then things just completely exploded around here. We got extremely busy. I never got time to edit it and put it up. Got really busy, so at that stage, we reduced our calf on the 8th of February, and we had just over 10% calf at that stage. Uh, it's now the 24th of, of February, and we have, I'm not sure, well over 60% of the herd calved at this stage. We hit 50% of the herd calved about 10 days after our plan starts, which is 8th of February, so by the 18th, we had over 50% of the herd calves, and uh, last time I counted it up, we had over 60%. So that was on Monday, we were at 60% today's Wednesday. So yeah, things got fairly busy. I'm just in the calving shed here, just having a look, see if everything's going all right. Needless to say, I did not get uh, time to edit the video and put it up until recently, my last one. And uh, things are starting to slow down a bit now. So hopefully I should be able to edit this one fairly soon and get it up to you. But it has been uh, very busy. Any of my spare time has been to eat or sleep. Uh, that's been about it. It's been fairly intense. We hit a new record high of 26 cows calved in 24 hours. Um, so that was, it's been intense. We were averaging around 20 cows calving a day. So we got a lot of calved, it's great. The weather has been pretty much awful. Uh, in my last video at the start of February there, we were doing some on off grazing, just getting cows out for a few hours to try graze. Shortly after that, we managed to get cows out full time, which is ideal, but that didn't last long. It only lasted a couple of days, and then it started really getting wet. Cows had to come in full time. It was wet for a while, then they got out for like one day, and they got really wet again. We had 26 mil of rain over the last couple of days. But is it, so cows are in on the cubicles full time at the moment. It's just too wet to get out into the fields. Our spring rotation plan has gone completely out the window. Having shed here on this side is quite open and with a lot of the wind and rain it has been blowing in, wetting the straw a lot. So we've mainly just been bedding up the back of the shed rather than the front. So that's why it's so mucky here. Today, if I get time, might try and take out a bit of this dirt here with the JCB. We have also started milking twice a day with the main milking mob. We had them on once a day for the first uh, three weeks or so, uh, just to reduce the labor, we milk them on once a day. It, it, over in the cubicles here, um, the last time in my last video, we had the late calvers in C there, the mid calvers in B, and the earliest were in A. Right now, B and C are all milking cows, and A are the only ones left to calf. Hopefully ground conditions will dry up in the next couple of days. We can get the cows out grazing. I'll have a quick show you the calving sheds because um, they're all full of calves now. Here in the uh, bull shed, all these are all the they be uh, dairy bull calves. These are all for sale. We sold one pen, so these aren't actually the oldest. These are a bit younger. These are the oldest at the moment, which actually I believe these are going today, I think, hopefully. Down here, I have a pen of beef cross calves. We got some Herefords. We got a good few Herefords. We got the Belgium Blue. And uh, I think we have a speckle park in the back. I'll show you him. These are the Herefords. Hey guys. We got some Angus in here as well. Good few Herefords, few Angus from the heifers. This is the Blue, nice and fluffy. And we got the speckle park, our first speckle park of the year. We just started using speckle parks last year. Hey, you'd really know them by the white strip on their back. Oh, you're all mad for pushing, huh? So you're getting big. Um, we have all these beef calves separate from uh, the dairy bull calves because uh, basically they're going to different people. Uh, the guy who's taken these has been buying calves of us for 10 years now. This is the first brown Belgian blue I've ever seen. Hey. So here we have the heifer shed, 100 calves in here all together, 5 pens of 20. All calves are in pens of 20, 
we got the milk feeders with them, 20 feeders. We got some ad lib meal feeders as well. Enough talking about cows and calves, let's get some work done. Now I'm going to be opening this gate so I can clean the front. None of you are to leave, okay? Can you go up there and tell the rest? job I want to try and get done today hopefully is we have a stack of bales here you might have seen in my last videos which is completely gone now uh, we've been feeding they were nice good surplus bales we've been feeding some milking cows the next are these bales over here in front of the silage pit uh, behind all those tires and we want this basically I gotta move the tires from the silage pit up against this wall Got the tires all tidied up, stacked up there, nice and neatly. I'm just after a bit of lunch now, and we're going to be going milking there soon. Lads will be milking, so uh, just got to pick out the cows of calved today because they'll be getting milked for the first time, and bring over the cows. It's the collecting yard.
So I'm just getting the cows out. They were kind of at the gate, ready to go. So they're heading over there now. I got a few up here at the top of the queue because they're just separated by gates there. They're the red mob. Any of them that are being treated for mastitis or that, they're kept separate. I'm gonna have to bring them over as well because they're on twice a day too. And another shower of rain. Not what you want. So I just put an out silage. Contractors here pumping the tank because they're filling up fast with all the rain we've got. Um, just gotta put out a few bales for the milking cows. They're coming back. They all been milked. So all the cows are fed. Milking cows, I think they're all nearly back out. The last one will probably come in there now. And they're still pumping slurry. That's gonna be it for today's video guys. Just a bit of an update on the farm, how things are going. Um, hopefully I'll get edited and up soon and try and get some more videos out on different things that are going on in spring. If you have any requests for types of videos you want to see, particularly those who are spring related, um, just drop them in the comments below. Thanks very much guys for watching. See you in the next one.